All right, so we have made progress. A lot of progress since the last video, actually. So for starters, before we talk about the arches here, I want to just do quickly talk about the framing in the back. Really, really simple. I just made big rectangles that are about um, on the ed on the ends. They're three and a half feet by I think it's like I don't know eighty something inches tall. <laughs> Basically enough to bring it up to the top. So I did three of these. The one in the center is four inches. Uh, excuse me, four feet wide. I meant to say feet. Three and a half feet, four feet, three and a half feet. Screwed them at the bottom to the foundation. And at the top, I used uh, two by four by tens to basically tie them all together. And then just added a piece at the end so I could put the, uh, the ends of the hoop on. So that is now one big thing. Now, as you'll notice, I have no 40 degree braces or anything that is holding up the back. And that's because all the weight is being held up by the tension on the arches, which is pretty cool. Um, I was hoping that was going to happen because I really didn't want to take up space here on the sides because uh, I like to put doors on both sides. So I was really not looking forward to having a big ugly brace right here that would make it really hard for a gigantic person like me. Not the puppet because the puppet's only about a foot tall, but the human inside the puppet is six feet tall. So uh, I want to I be able to have a sizable door on this thing. So it looks like I will not need it because I have taken down all the temporary braces that I had leaning up and I've put almost all of the arches in. Now I miscounted when I purchased the arches and I need one more. I technically do have one more piece of conduit but it's a different brand so and it's slightly thinner so therefore it doesn't fit in the caps that I'm using to hold the arches in place. So let's talk about the caps. So. Um, so originally I was going to lay uh, another 2x4 along the front here, use a hole saw or a spade bit to create a 3 fourths of an inch hole or a hole that would hold 3 fourths of an inch conduit, which would be more like an inch, but whatever. So I tried, but I guess the wood was wet or my saw, my, my bits and saw were like too, I don't know, too dull or something because it didn't cut and it was a disaster and it was making me really obnoxious, like angry. So I was like, you know what? This is annoying anyway because, you know, I tried I tried to do that, but it wasn't really working. And when I bent the poles, because originally I was going to have the poles come underneath here, and I was going to like uh, uh, drill it, <laughs> drill it, screw it, screw it into place. Um, but they didn't come up at the right angle, and it was like really frustrating. So I'm like, this screwing thing isn't going to work, and my little dr like hole saw situation isn't really working. So I needed a new solution that would work on both ends. So my solution was actually to take, and I'll actually, I have one place where I can show you what I did, but in fact, let's walk down there now. So as you can see, I'm missing a hoop here, or half hoop as I'm calling it, since it's like a half a hoop house. So I just took this cap. It is a flat three-fourths of an inch PVC slip cap. Um, and it's flat at the bottom, which is an important note, which led to some interesting adventures trying to find them. Um, and I just drilled a hole in it and literally screwed it to the board. And I've done that for every single one on here up, and the top. And then it was just these conduit, of course. Let's walk back over, do, 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 or fly. So as you know, uh, EMT uh, PVC conduit is actually smaller it's small on one end and, and flares out bigger towards the other end so you can connect them together. So what I ended up doing so I could use the same size cap is I just cut the, 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 the end off, the flared end off for all of the arches. So I cut that off, so I lost a few inches in the arch, but the, perf the shape ended up perfect. Like you want it to be kind of straightish here, going into the other side straightish there. And I think that worked out for the most part. So basically just stuck it in one side, bent it, stuck it in the other. Now for now I am not holding them in place. It's only friction and force because again the force of the arch is pushing that way into the into the cap and down here into the cap and also out in that direction a little bit and in this case up a little bit. But um, just the the tension in the arches themselves in the conduit is holding them in place. So 
Now, if this gets a, hopefully this won't get a snow load because of the the angle of the arch will hopefully cause snow to fall off. But if I do get some kind of snow load, it will be interesting to see if this will hold. Because again, I have not drilled this into place. They're only ever so slightly into the caps, I will admit. Um, but so thus far, it's holding and it's taking a lot of abuse. In all 13, when this is all done, I need a 13th. But so far, I have 12 in place and it's easily holding up that wall. In fact, when I act, actively try to put a pull on this I can't and before before I put these arches up this whole wall was just falling forward it was like collapsing so that is the all the tension in these arches are more than enough so that's really the update um, for this there's not much more to talk about um, that is all I've done thus far like I said I need to get one more arch of the uh, conduit piece of conduit so I can put that arch in um, I have ordered the plastic so that will be good. Oh, a fun little adventure. So most stores, hardware stores, do not sell the flat caps for PVC. They sell the rounded caps. So if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's or, you know, True Value Hardware, they they sell like the rounded caps. Only the local Obishan, which is like, I, I don't know if that's a regional hardware, but they're all over the place here. But that, it's a smaller chain. Obishan was the only one that had flat caps, but each store only had like three or four. And I needed 20... Uh, 20 well a lot of them <laughs> I needed let's see here 26 of them total so I had to go to several stores basically with uh, basically every store I could go find in a 40 mile radi radius I had to go to collect enough caps but I did it and I have enough so now I just need to get that last arch which I forgot to buy so anyway it's looking pretty good so next steps so I have the pl that plastic ordered and it'll be arriving. I'll be doing that in a separate video, probably towards the very, very end. I need to build doors here. So it's just gonna be a very, very simple door frame. Um, at the time, after I build it, I may do some like 45 degree braces just to tie it into the, tie it into the frame more. Um, I I'm probably gonna do, I don't I probably do it on both ends, even if I don't actually put a door in that side. Um, I may only actually build a functional door on this one side because I want them on the end to provide a little bit more stability. Because also when I create the door frame, I may tie it into the end arch. And I also need to come up with what I want to do for purlins. So uh, probably to keep it simple, I'm just going to take more PVC pipe, run it lengthwise and drill holes and tie it in with, um, with zip ties. I've seen people do that for purlins for this. So it seems like kind of like the cheapest, easiest option. So I'll give it a shot. But again, um, I talked a little bit on a recent live stream about all the different plans I have for this, um, starting with just one sheet of plastic, but I'll talk about that in future videos. Um, I want to focus on the build of this, and that's pretty much all that is there is to talk about for this section of the build. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. Um, there'll be plenty more videos of this build along the way. I'm doing a multi-part series, probably be about, I don't know, four or five parts, I'd say, in total. And uh, just keep you updated on progress and you'll definitely want to be subscribed to see how I use it during the winter. So in any case, thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey.